Welcome to the EXP Group's discussion of ACCA paper P5. Um, today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about alternative budgeting models. Um, the candidate should be familiar with the uh, main, some of the main types of uh, budgets that exist. Um, a fixed budget is really the most common and traditional budget. We can see this as being a kind of starting point. The notion being that you set a budget at the beginning of the year and then you operate that budget through the entire year, budgetary period, based on assumptions that are taken originally and are not um, adjusted subsequently. The uh, next type of budget we want to, uh, we need to know for, for the paper is the idea of a flexible budget. The flexible budget is one that allows uh, at the budget planning process to play with different assumptions and to say, okay, at different volumes of output, production and sales, what will my cost structures uh, look like? So it's kind of scenario planning in which we uh, draw up flexible budgets, maybe budgets for um, 100,000 units, 150,000 units, so these would be two, two scenarios in which we uh, understand how, how the costs will behave under the different um, uh, uh, sets of assumptions. The flexed budget is similar to the flexible budget in terms of uh, mechanics, but what it is used for is after the fact. If we had uh, set a, our original budget assuming that we would produce and sell 100,000 um, units and at the end of the period we end up having effectively done 150,000 units, then one can see that when we do our um, analysis and specific variance analysis line by line through the budget, uh, we, we can tell that we can see that there's going to be um, huge variances all the way through simply because our original budget was uh, envisaging 100,000 units as an activity level and the actual was far higher. So the idea of flexing the budget is to recalibrate our original budget and to say, okay, if we had budgeted at 150,000 um, units with the consequent uh, assumptions with regard to how uh, costs are presumed to behave and to be structured under 150,000 unit scenario, then, then we, the recalibration allows us to do a proper and meaningful analysis of the variances between the flexed budget and the actual results achieved. A rolling budget is um, the idea here is that when we pass or complete one period along the way, let's say we do an annual budget with um, four quarters. At the end of the first quarter, we adjust our budget going forward based on the actual results of the first quarter. In a sense, you could say this is sort of uh, like flexing the budget, as we just discussed before, or recalibrating your budget so that for the remaining quarters of the year, you have an, ab an adjusted budget which is already taking into account the realities of the first quarter. So it's a kind of an updating of the budget as one goes along, and it's also typical that one would add, as you can see here in the example, the one quarter, the first quarter of the following year, so that one always has a 12-month uh, set of uh, a budget which is covering the, the prospective 12 months in a rolling sort of manner. One can do this also on a, on a monthly basis. It just requires more work. The zero-based budget is kind of a, a radical approach to budgeting in the sense that each uh, budgetary period, one starts with a fresh piece of paper, a blank piece of paper, and has to justify all, all expenditures and 
uh, derive a, a or develop a new set of assumptions with regard to to revenues and what is expected to happen. So a zero-based budget would be most appropriate in a, uh, a market that's changing quickly, a uh, high, high pace of change where what's happened in the past is not necessarily a good guide to what's going on into the future. Um, so all assumptions are basically off the table and have to be um, reconsidered as one builds the process, the, the budget, the new budget up from scratch. There's the, the budgetary process in a zero-based budgeting is basically, if we look at the three steps here, basically to be understood as an allocative process of al uh, allocating resources to different departments. Allocative in the sense that resources are scarce and therefore um, uh, departments and, and units within the company have to compete for these resources and make a business case through their budget in order to be awarded resources necessary. So there's kind of an internal competitive process here as uh, the different budget, uh, what we call decision packages, um, are being considered by, by a committee. Next, we uh, have the activity-based budget. This is uh, deriving from our uh, from, from the familiar ABC system, activity-based costing. Activity-based costing uh, requires an understanding of what drives costs, particularly uh, overhead costs in, in, a, uh, in a production process, or it can be applied to service industry as well, the, the, to identify the cost drivers and to be able to uh, understand um, to, in a, in a, to a great detail how costs um, arise and, and are driven. Now, with that kind of costing information, it becomes very, um, uh, very useful for the purpose of budgeting purposes. So it's simply uh, activity-based budgeting is using ABC type of information for budgeting purposes. Finally, we come to incremental budgets. Now, the incremental budget is quite different, for example, from the zero-based budget, budget process because here we're taking uh, last year's budget and we're basically making small adjustments to it in order to describe what we expect to happen in the following year. This, this is almost, uh, uh, it's a natural thing for people to say, okay, let's, my, our starting point should be last year's or the previous period's budget. Now, this can work very well in a in an environment that changes a little bit more slowly so that the structures and the assumptions that went into the previous year's budget may still be valid in the current period. Um, but, of course, we, we also have to be careful that inefficiencies that crept into a previous budget are not going to be uh, replicated in the new budget. So the incremental uh, approach to budgeting uh, doesn't necessarily do a good job of um, cleaning out old um, inefficiencies.